When we return some view for our view body, it means SwiftUI can expect to receive back some kind of view to display on the screen. That might be a navigation view, it might be a form, a text field, a picker, or almost anything else, as long as it conforms to that one view protocol. Now, if we want to return multiple things from here, we have various options. But three, in particular, are useful. VStack, HStack, and Z or Z stack for vertical, horizontal, and, well, Zepth. Let's try it out now. Our default template has Hello World padding, as you can see here in the preview area. This returns exactly one kind of view, this text view here. If you want to turn two text views, we might say, let's switch to padding and say text, uh, this is another text view. But when that plays back, look at what happens over here in the preview area. You can see we have two screens appearing because that's how SwiftUI interprets are sending back two text views. It doesn't know what to do with them. Now we wanna make sure SwiftUI gets exactly one kind of view back and that's where stacks come in. They allow us to say, here are two text views and I want them positioned like this. So for VStack, a vertical stack of views, we'll wrap these two text views inside of VStack and it'll place one above the other like this. Now by default, VStack will place some system automatic amount of spacing between its items. We can control this by saying VStack with a spacing of 20 spaced by 20 points or 50 or 100 as many as you want to. And just like SwiftUI's other views, VStack has a maximum of 10 children. If you want to add more, group them using a group view. Now VStack by default aligns its views to the center. As you can see right now, they're both center aligned. We can control that with an alignment value. For example, we could say to our text views, align to your leading edge which is left edge in left to right languages like English. So we'll say a stitch spacing and say alignment of dot leading. And now they'll jump to the left like that. Now alongside VStack, we have a H stack for doing horizontal stuff. And you see they now go side by side. Otherwise the same syntax, including the ability to set things like spacing. Let's add spacing between them now. Vertical and horizontal stacks automatically fit their content. And they prefer, where possible, to align themselves to the center of the available space. As you can see, the whole thing is centered here. If you want to, you can use a, a spacer view to push the content of your stack to one side, up, down, left, or right, depending on where you put it and they'll automatically take up all available remaining space. So if we had a uh, VStack here with uh, text first, then text second, then text third, they'll all be centered by default. But if I said after those comes a spacer, that will expand to fill the space, pushing first, second, and third to the very top. Plus, if you add more than one spacer, they'll automatically divide up the space between them. We can use this to subdivide things by fractions almost. We could say, I want one spacer above and two spacers below. And now you'll have one third of the space at the top and two thirds of the space at the bottom. We also have a Z stack or a Z stack for arranging things by depth. It makes views that overlap on the screen. In the case of our text views, we can make them overlap each other like this. A Z stack with a text, hello world, then text, this is inside a stack. And they'll now overlap, which makes them, as you can see, rather hard to read in there. Now Z stack doesn't have the concept of spacing because the views overlap rather than being pushed left or right or up and down, but it does have the concept of alignment. And so if you have one really big thing in your stack and one small thing, you can make both views align however you want to, like align to the top or top leading, for example. Z stack draws its views from top to bottom. So it'll draw this text, then this. So it means this will be at the back 
and the second one above it, third one above that, fourth one above that, and so forth. So if you have an image and some text, the Z stack will draw them in that order, placing the text above the image. Having got this yourself, try placing several horizontal stacks together inside a single vertical stack. Can you make a three times three grid? I'll do it for you in a moment, but you have a go first. It's not too hard because you can group stacks and inside stacks, inside stacks as much as you want to. Place several horizontal stacks inside a vertical stack. You want a three by three grid. Let's have a go. Hope you had a go yourself. We've got one V stack here. Then we'll do a H stack and I'll do text one and then text two and then text three. And that'll be our first row. I then copy the H stack twice more. And we'll have our three by three grid. We'll then change it to be four, five, and six, and then seven, eight, and nine, just so it's clear what's going on. 